Hello everyone, welcome back again to OnHow channel. My name is Dennis, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions or any video requests, make sure to drop them below in the comment or check out my Instagram right here below me. I don't reply to each comment. If you are wondering again, why is that? Because simply, I'm working for you. And in this video, I will show you how to create a landing page on your Shopify store. And I mean separated landing page that's hidden, completely hidden. If you don't want to show it, it will be hidden and no customer can actually access it. And that's really good if you are promoting a special time offer or a special offer for just some people or some customers that's really good if you want to promote it on social media or Facebook ads or whatever the case is and you don't want your regular customers to see them on your Shopify store so you can create a landing page and completely unique I mean completely different from your design of your Shopify store so it will have nothing in common with your Shopify store except for the URL obviously which is the Shopify store.com or whatever your Shopify name is and you can do this with just the team customizer on Shopify dashboard however it's really limited and you can barely make any design that's really good looking with the team customizer on Shopify but no worries in this video I will show you how to create landing page with already made templates that you can actually just click on them and select them and design them i mean uh, modify them however you want and add new elements or remove the old elements or whatever you want to do to make it exactly how you want it and yes as i said already made templates and completely free and you can find any design or any niche for your shopify store you can find the templates already made for them just click on them as i said and select them then start modifying the landing page for your liking and as i said this is all free you don't have to pay for anything except for a like button i would really appreciate it it's free as well and it will motivate me to make more videos and it will make me happy for the rest of the day so it's a win-win situation and without any more talking let's just get to it and show you how to create landing page on your shopify store so as i said the team customizer on shopify dashboard it will not let you do this it, it can let you do this however it will be really limited it will not look good at all and by the way if you are interested how to create shopify store or the video banner like this as well as designing the header like this and showing the free shipping message at the top of the page make sure to check out my channel i did make a lot of videos on how when it comes to designing and editing your shopify store as well as the variants from here and the, i mean the color swatches as you can see with pictures for the variance for each color as you can see you can select the color a, a regular color or a picture for variance and the discounted price right here there is a lot of things that show on my channel so if you are interested in how to design or recreate your shopify store as well as finding product and so on my videos i think they will be really helpful for you but for now let me show you how to create a landing page on your Shopify store so let's just close this the first thing you're going to do is obviously install an app because as I said Shopify team customizer is really limited when it comes to this so let's just click on apps and after that click on recommended apps right here then click on Shopify app store at the bottom of the page and it will take you to the app store for Shopify then we're going to search for PageFly, which is the app we will use in this video and that will show you how to customize and use every option on this app so here is I already see it right here as you can see so simply click on it and by the way you don't have to search for it or anything like that just scroll down the description box and you will see the link for it just click on it and it will take you to this page right here and click on add app and give it a couple of seconds it will redirect you to Shopify dashboard and click on install app then give it some time and it will be ready just like you see right now and let's just click on get started and from here from the dashboard right here it will show, it will show you a bunch of options and on the left right here you will see the dashboard analytics pages sections and add-ons if you want to there is a lot of add-ons actually you can add to the page fly app and we need or we want actually to add a landing page a completely separated landing page from our Shopify store you saw how Shopify store I mean my Shopify store look like and the page will be completely different so click on apps then you will see regular apps home page product page collection page blog post and password page so click on regular page then it will ask you do you want to create from templates or create a blank page a blank page can be really boring and actually uh, it's much better to use template than modify it however you want 
because that way you can have an influence or a design in mind or how to how you want your Shopify store or landing page story to look like if you create a blank you need actually some influence if you do have some influence if you do know or you found a landing page that you think it looks really good and you want to make it look like it then that's really good click on create a blank page then open up the landing page that you do like and so you can get the influence open it in your phone or on another tab on your browser then start creating the landing page base it on the one you want however i don't have an influence so i need an influence and to do so click on create from templates so simply click on it and it will show you a lot of templates in here however we want a landing page not a shopify store because these ones are actually for shopify store and the option on the left in here you can see it says holiday page landing page home page product page collection page and so on there is a lot in here and just landing page there is 22 designs so let's just select it and get back in here and this is landing pages as you can see so make sure to go through them to see the design that fits your need or your niche particularly in my case um, i don't have any niche or design this is just for demonstration i'm going to go for something that i do like let's just go for this one right here so let's just go for this one so simply click on it select it then click on select templates at the bottom right corner right here so click on it and it will select that template and it will open up the exact landing page that you select and the team customizer or the editor sorry so in here you can edit or change or remove everything in this landing page that we did select in here even the text right here for this for example this blog i can edit it however i want and for example let's just go uh, just the banner right here i want it actually to be a video i don't want it to be a picture i want it to be a video actually and to do that just click on it then click on styling right here styling option below the save button and it will show you some options in here and scroll down a little bit and you will see background style right here so background this is the picture that we did select if you want to select other pictures click on select button and it will show you pictures on your shopify store then select the picture that you want to add in my case as i said i want a video so there is options in here to select video or parallax so let's just click on video and in here we can paste in the link for the video and i think i do have a link let me look for it so here is i found the link and actually you can even paste the youtube video just if you do have a youtube video that you want to implement on the landing page in my case i do have the video directly ends with .mp4 which is uh, hosted on a third party website so i'm going to paste the link for it in here and here it is as you can see this is video it will not start playing directly in here i need to save it and we let's just do that actually let's just save it and let's just name it uh, for example landing page which is the thing we're gonna create let's just click on save and let's just give it a moment to be saved then we will check it out the preview the landing page and see if the video will start automatically playing or not here is it save it so let's just click on the preview button and here is this is the landing page and by the way it will automatically set the header from original shopify store to the landing page and let me show you how to disable this so we, we don't want anything from our original shopify store to be shown on the landing page as i said we want it completely separated so let's just get back to the settings right here and you can see the header right here is completely blank nothing on it because it's set to be showing the regular header on your shopify store so simply click on it click on the header then click on open page settings on the right right here then on the team section right here it says header footer so you need to disable the option then it would not show the header from your shopify store so let's just click on save and it will save the changes and let me close this and preview again the landing page and this time it shouldn't show the header just like you see right now as you can see it does not show the header from my original shopify store that's exactly what we want so let's just get back in here actually i want to change the color for the black it doesn't look that good and it should be black actually because it says black <laughs> obviously so let's just select it right here then let me go to general settings no it doesn't have the option for the color styling I, I think yes it does so in here you see content color so click on the square for the color in here and let's just go for black okay good let's just click on save i think the lady will move so eventually it will be visible much better so let's just check out landing page and here we go so yeah anyway this is just for demonstration i'm gonna i'm not gonna spend time to perfect this because this is just for demonstration 
and let's just get back in here this is actually a timer that uh, set you can add it directly i will show you how to add sections to this so let's just scroll down in here we want to add another section we do not want this however i'm going to keep it so simply you see whenever you go with the cursor over the borders right here you should see the square button right here or the plus button sorry simply click on it then it will show you a page with a whole lot of sections as you can see and there is the types of sections in here for example let's just go for a sales boost right here and it will show me some options uh, let's just go for this one right here grab your sales today and there is other options in here there is a lot however let's just go for the first one i do like this one so let's just click on it and click select section and here we go so this text right here i want it to be animated so i want it to move wherever the customers I scroll down i want it to move so you can see it so simply click on it then click on general option right here then i'm going to click on animation option which is the last one click on it and you should select the animation that you want for example bounce like this bouncing and flash uh, pulse rubber band uh, shake like this i'm going to go for the first one which is the flash right here the second flash so let's just keep it like this so one of the customers scroll down he will see it flashing like this they will see grab your sales today it will not last forever so let's just click on flash and let's just save it and those options obviously you can change them as well including the picture click on the picture and click on styling and you will see the picture right here you can select other pictures if you do want if you do have other pictures on your shopify store however i only want to change the percentage let's just uh, type in 15 and this one keep it as 50 or 20 and the shop now i want to change the link for it to directly to access a product a specific product and to change the url simply click on it then click on general make sure to access general and scroll down a little bit and you will see go to url option right here and click and select url and you can select whatever you want products click on products and it will show you all your products in your shopify store in my case i'm going to go for collections and let's just go for actually best-selling product so let me i want it to be the best-selling product whenever he clicks on shop now it will take him to the best-selling products option or page sorry so let's just click on select and we are good now and let's just scroll down a little bit in here i want to add another section which is the testimonials so i want testimonials to be shown right here so let's just click on plus button again and let's just disable the sales boost right here and let's just go for testimonials here we go so let's just go for some section here that looks really good i think i saw this the first one looks good this one or this one they look good however i'm gonna go for the first one so let's just click on it select and we are good so you can actually change the pixels as well from the people in here so click on this one and click on styling right here and scroll down a little bit what is it what is it the picture on general areas in general actually content picture so you can select picture from here select upload a picture for different people if you want to change it as well as the name and so on you can change everything in here actually and for example if you want this section to be hidden from people that's using the mobile or desktop or any condition like that just click on it uh, click on the whole section then you will see the option visibility right here you can hide on the desktop or hide on laptop hide on tablet or hide on mobile so if we did uh, enable this option it will be disabled on the mobile it will not be shown on the desktop store it will not be shown on the desktop however this is for demonstration i do use desktop so obviously i'm gonna disable the option and here we go so what's left in here it's all personal preference so how do you want your shopify store to look like and there is a lot of options as you can see so if i click on plus button again as you can see each section or category from here there is a lot of options brand store and newsletter and trust badges and so on and the free shipping for example if we click on free shipping it will show you the options that show the free shipping on your shopify store uh, let's just select actually some of these from here let's just go for this one this one i do like it because you can change the pictures and so on and here we go so let's just click on this one and let's just change i don't have any picture on my anyway you get the idea so you get the idea you can select this and change the picture for it and the picture obviously need to have text because text is not changeable the text is not a text it's actually on the picture just like you see in here as you can see the text is on the picture so you can use canva for example canva.com and create the pictures and add the text or free shipping to it then upload it to your shopify store and set it right here and the same as the feedback and menu and so on 
and the menu you can change it as well this is not conditionally need to be menu you can type in anything you want in here and if you feel lost simply click on the plus button again and you will see a lot of options in here as you can see there is no limited things you can find in here if you didn't find any section that you want in here that means that it's your problem not their problem because they do have a lot and again you can customize the things however you want and it's save it let's just click on preview and the landing page is ready for you as you can see so happy designing your shopify store and hit me on the like button i would really appreciate it so that's how you create landing page on your shopify without using any paid tools or anything like that and as i said in the beginning of the video i'm working for you so if you have any questions or any video requests make sure to drop them below in a comment or check out my instagram right here below me i don't reply to each comment if you are wondering again why is that because simply i'm working for you otherwise i think my job is done for this video so thanks for watching catch you in the next one